trouble started for Black Hawk and the Sauk people when Andrew Jackson signed the Indian Removal Act, which gave the government the right to remove Native Americans off their land. This law had no apparent effect on the Sauk people for years, however, until an American trader showed up and insisted that Black Hawk and his people leave their land. For the most part, the Sauk people stayed put. Things only got worse when a native traveled on a settler's land and the settler killed them with a club. The settlers claimed the Sauk people were trespassing on their land, but really just the opposite was happening. Several months later, the United States Army arrived on the Sauk land. They said they were not there to buy the land but to take it and gave the Sauk people two days to leave. Naturally, Black Hawk refused to do so, but the sight of the American army was enough to make most of the Sauk people leave. However, the American army was not ready for an all-out attack, and the two-day deadline passed without notice. Several weeks later, however, soldiers shot at people working in the fields. Black Hawk was enraged to hear this, and he ordered his men to attack, even though they stood little chance against the American army. <laughs> Black Hawk knew the battle was over, so he sent several warriors to go ahead and surrender. But when the delegates came, they were immediately captured, and some were even killed. Black Hawk was enraged at this, and he ordered his men to charge. FREEDOM! To his astonishment, the Americans turned and fled. Yay! Encouraged by the victory, several other tribes joined Black Hawk's rebellion. The Americans tried to organize another army, but a cholera epidemic broke out in the camp. Eventually, though, the United States organized an army of both soldiers and militia that would put a bloody end to Black Hawk's rebellion. Black Hawk knew he had a limited window, so he and the Sauk tribe made a run for the Mississippi River. Black Hawk and the Sauk people made their way through the Wisconsin woods, and as a result, the American army had a very hard time fighting them. At long last, the starving Sauk people reached the Mississippi River. They knew already their enemies, the Sioux, would be waiting for them on the other side, but to make matters worse, the army and a small gunboat patrolled the river. And that evening, the American army finally arrived. The Sauk people were trapped. Black Hawk had no choice but to surrender. Suddenly, a slave aboard the ship yelled that the Americans were going to attack anyway. Get across the river! Escape while you can. There's nothing more you can do. And A few days later, the Americans found where Black Hawk was hiding and arrested him. He was kept in prison for many months. But at last, he traveled to Washington, D.C., where he met President Andrew Jackson. Black Hawk toured some of the large cities to the east, and to his surprise, he was usually greeted with friendship. With the translator's help, he wrote an autobiography on his life, documenting important information about the Black Hawk War. Black Hawk realized now that there was no way to stop the United States from expanding west. Thank you.